The 20 series is pretty expensive, especially the RTX 2080 Ti, but don't be expecting a price drop to be coming anytime soon. Welcome to Hari's Hobbies. So Nvidia often likes to charge an extra fee or like an early adopters fee for the first year that they release a new product. Because in most cases, most of the people who are buying their GPUs in the first year will most likely buy their GPUs regardless of the price. As a result, Nvidia takes advantage of this situation and tries to make more profit off of each unit that they sell. For example, with the GTX 1080, it launched for an MSRP of $700. And one year later, the GTX 1080 Ti came out, which then replaced it at $700, and the GTX 1080 dropped to $600. So we may see something like that with the RTX 20 series as well. For example, right now the RTX 2080 costs $800, but in a year from now, it may drop to $700, but it's very unlikely for it to drop anything until at least a year. So currently, we are definitely having to deal with an early adopter's fee, and unfortunately that fee is not going to be going away for at least a year. Secondly, you have to keep in mind NVIDIA's target audience. NVIDIA is not trying to target the average consumer with the 20 series, at least not the cars that have been shown off so far. NVIDIA is targeting the enthusiasts who want the best gaming experience possible and are willing to spend some extra money to get it. Currently, only the top level 20 series GPUs have even been announced and there is still a lot of 10 series inventory. As a result, the 10 series is what NVIDIA is targeting at the masses the 20 series is sort of a premium product lineup, so at least for the next couple of months, NVIDIA is going to maintain that sharp distinction between the 10 and 20 series. Thirdly, NVIDIA still has a good amount of inventory of the 10 series, and as a result, they want to get rid of that before they go on to the 20 series, and so they really have no rush in getting to the 20 series right now. From NVIDIA's point of view, if a consumer buys a 10 series GPU, they're able to get rid of that old inventory, and if they buy a 20 series GPU, then that's feeding their high profit margins. So either way, it's beneficial and they don't really care. As a result, Nvidia is in no rush to convince you that you should buy a 20 series GPU. They would probably most likely actually want to concentrate on getting the 10 series inventory out first before they fully concentrate on the 20 series. Fourthly, Nvidia has no competition from anybody. AMD Vega barely matches the performance of the top level 10 series GPUs, and it will most likely not even come close to performance of the 20 series GPUs. And as for AMD Navi, we really don't know many details right now, but if anything, it may match the performance of the 20 series for a better price. If AMD Navi is released for a cheaper price with the same performance of the 10 series, then Nvidia may consider a price drop earlier. But as of now, there really is no motive for NVIDIA to do a price drop because they really have no competition. And finally, there are other factors other than just NVIDIA being greedy as well. Real-time ray tracing took NVIDIA a long time to develop and it probably had substantial development costs. The 20 series is not just a traditional architectural upgrade. There are a lot of technological upgrades as well, like DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling, and the aforementioned real-time ray tracing. As a result, the higher prices that we are seeing with the 20 series may be a result of the higher development costs. And finally, you have to consider the state of the DRAM market. GDDR6 memory is already a lot more expensive than GDDR5X and GDDR5 memory. And with the inflated RAM market right now, it just makes it even worse for the price of GDDR6 memory. And thus, that could also be contributing to the high 20 series GPU prices. As a result, Nvidia will most likely want to recoup their extra development costs for real-time ray tracing before they drop the price of the 20 series GPUs. Overall, Nvidia likes to charge an early adopter's fee for around an year, they're targeting the premium market, they still have a lot of inventory of the 10 series, they have no competition from AMD, and it may have cost a lot more to develop this series than any previous series. And unfortunately, none of these issues are easily resolvable, and as a result, it's going to take a while before 20 series GPU prices drop. There may be some small dips in price, like up to $50 over the holiday season of this year. But as for the MSRP of the 20 series, that is pretty much going to remain solid over the next year unless AMD brings out something really big. But that's just what I think. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the 20 series is actually fairly priced based of the DRAM market situation right now and the extra development cost that it took in media to develop the 20 series? Or do you just think it's NVIDIA being greedy again? Make sure to comment down below what you guys think because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think so make sure to post your thoughts.
Also, if you guys like this video, then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you would like to see more videos just like this one. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.